Hi, uh, this is sort of an optional video. Uh, I wanted to start maybe telling you about some web apps because part of the description of this class says that it talks about um, apps on the web. So one of the ones I want to talk to you guys about that was pretty handy for me while I was an undergrad and continues to be a little handy now is Evernote. You can get there by going to www.evernote.com. Now you have to sign up, you have to give it a username and an email address and they'll send you a confirmation code. But once you do, you have kind of this. It doesn't really look like much, but it allows you to do a lot of neat things. So you can create a note and you can call it whatever you want. So school note, whoop, helps if you can spell school notes. And then you can put whatever you want, um, you know, and then that's it. And then you can sort of save it. And once you have this done, it says save and that syncs it to the cloud as they call it. Now, what that means is say you download the Evernote app for your smartphone, um, your iPhone or Android phone, then this note would then be available on your phone. Say you go to a buddy's computer and you realize, oh, I don't remember if I have homework, but I know I wrote it down and I have it stored in Evernote. Well, then you can log in to Evernote by going to their URL and look and see what you need to know. And this allows you to create different things like different notebooks to store notes in. That would be through here. You can go new notebook. You can say Comp 101, and that will be your Comp 101 notebook. And you can take uh, this note and put it in that notebook, and that way you know it's going to be there. Something else you can do that you can't really see in this interface, you can take pictures and have those as notes. So say you missed a class and you talk to one of your friends and they say, oh, well, hey, I took these amazing notes. And you're like, well, she does take amazing notes, so I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it with my phone and store that on Evernote so I can read them later. Say you uh, want to record an audio note to yourself, you can do that too. And it's a really good way of keeping organized. You can organize things by topic, and then you can search through them. Um, and I mean, they have a premium mode that you have to pay for, and it actually allows you to search through different kinds of documents, and you can you, that's something else you can do. You can upload documents. It's pretty handy. Um, I don't really use it as much as I used to. I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe I've stopped taking as many notes. But uh, I used it a lot at work, and I used it a lot uh, at school, just it really helped me keep track of my projects and related information. You can store emails in it. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, like I said, I just thought I should let you know about some handy apps that you may or may not know about. So Evernote, it's really useful. Uh, it reminds me of some of the really organized people I've had in my classes where they'll have a binder full of multicolored stickies and they'll use different highlighters and they'll do all of these things to keep track of stuff. And I always wish I was that organized. And honestly, Evernote kind of helped me do that. Um, I never was that organized, but you know, every little bit helps. One other thing you can do just to keep in uh, mind, I believe you can tag your different notebooks. So say you put homework on this, then each one will be a separate tab and then you will get all these little tags in here so you can organize them that way. This really helps if you have to do a research project because then you can put articles in here straight from the web and tag them and then sort them and organize them and it can make your life really really easy if this is something you're inclined to do. Like I said, this was an optional video. I'm not going to test you or, or ask you any homework questions about Evernote. I just thought it was something you might like to see.